This is too eye-catching for women. The mother just passed away, and the daughter took the mother's place. Every day, she sees off her father, and easily touches his chin. They even sleep together at night. Sometimes she even expresses her love to him. However, the reality is not that simple. Let's go back three days ago. The wife took the daughter to her parents' home. Due to the driver's fatigue, the bus crashed into a cliff, and plummeted down the cliff. No one on the bus survived. There were heavy casualties. Upon hearing the news, the father rushed to the hospital. At the moment when his wife was on the verge of death, the hands of the family of three held tightly together. At the moment when his wife took her last breath, no one noticed. A red light flashed on her hand, on the ring. Then the daughter opened her eyes. But the first thing she said after waking up stunned her father. Husband, I am your wife. Aaron thought that his daughter must have been traumatized until she revealed the secret between husband and wife. Aaron realized the seriousness of the situation. After the daughter recovered and returned home, Aaron began to consult various ancient books. Through the information, he discovered that there really are soul-shifting illusions in the world, but it was the daughter who died. The pain of losing a daughter is undoubtedly unbearable, but life must go on. His wife also regained hope, no longer continuing to mourn, but to live a wonderful life for their daughter. When the school season arrived, she proposed going back to school. After Aaron agreed, they came to the school and experienced a rejuvenation at the age of 18. Aaron then found the teacher and informed the teacher that his daughter was seriously injured and may have forgotten many people and her studies. He hoped that the teacher could take good care of her. The teacher reassured him, saying that his daughter is intelligent and will quickly adapt. But in the classroom, the daughter couldn't understand what the teacher was saying at all. But fortunately, everything was still new and exciting for her. Until this day, the two of them were having a meal. When suddenly, the wife asked Aaron, Aaron, what should we do about that matter? What matter? The matter between husband and wife. The sudden question startled him, and he spewed out his food. He casually made up an excuse to brush it off. But Aaron, in his prime years, when reason and desire collide, what kind of choice will he make? The father brings his drunken daughter home and tucks her in bed, but the daughter suddenly grabs his hand with a radiant smile. She asks him, will it be better if I cover my face? On the surface, they appear to be a pair of women, but in reality, they are truly a married couple. Due to a car accident, the wife departed from this world, but unexpectedly, she inhabited their daughter's body. To avoid arousing suspicion from others, the wife lives as their daughter, maintaining the facade of a father-daughter relationship. However, as an aging and ordinary person, suddenly transformed into a vibrant young individual, fate destined that it would not be ordinary. As the wife gradually becomes familiar with campus life, through her own struggles and efforts, she successfully enters a medical university and chooses the field of neurology in order to unravel the mysteries happening within herself. However, things don't go as planned. The wife gradually adapts to the life of a young person, but leaves behind her aging husband at home. He longs for the meals cooked by his wife, but her time spent in the kitchen decreases day by day, and she returns home later and later, with concerns for his wife. Aaron, secretly enters her room at night, only to unexpectedly discover a photo of his wife with a male classmate. He looks at his weary self in the mirror. Aaron's heart becomes uneasy. At that moment, he happens to see a wealthy second-generation individual escorting his wife home. Aaron can't bear it anymore. The next day, Aaron installs a bug in their home and overhears his wife making plans to meet the wealthy individual, so he intentionally disrupts their appointment. But he never expected that his wife would conspire with her best friend to deceive him. When the wife arrived at the agreed location, before the two could even speak, Aaron rushed out to warn the wealthy individual to stay away from his daughter, and he loudly shouted in front of the other person. Upon returning home, the wife found the bug in the house, tore it apart and threw it on the ground. After being married for so many years, they had their first conflict. She told Aaron that she went to the meeting to tell the other person to draw a clear boundary with him, but Aaron didn't believe her. He told his wife that throughout these years, he had rejected numerous blind dates because she was by his side. Even when someone matched his ideal type, he still maintained a clear boundary with that person, and the more he spoke, the more furious he became. I can't feel the future, nor do I sense happiness. Her husband's words struck her hard. Faced with Aaron's accusations, the wife felt particularly saddened. Aaron, on the other hand, felt that his wife's soul, in their daughter's body, their relationship was a torment for him. However, not long after, Aaron came to a realization about this situation. As the wife, in her daughter's form, she should have her own life. He shouldn't confine her because of his role as a husband. But just the next day, when they were being honest with each other, the original personality of their daughter suddenly returned. Father Aaron was pleasantly surprised. He jumped up from the sofa and began to tell his daughter about the events of the past two years. First, the soul switching that occurred between the two of them after the accident. Then, how his wife worked hard and got admitted to a prestigious university. Faced with the reality before her, the daughter found it hard to believe. But why did she suddenly come back? Aaron remembered the information he had previously looked up. There were cases mentioned about the original personality returning. However, after his daughter had a nap, 
she transformed back into his wife. From that moment on, the personalities of the mother and daughter began to alternate. Whenever they slept, they would become a different person. Gradually, the mother and daughter started exchanging letters. They seemed to have returned to the happy family they once were. However, this kind of life didn't last long. Several months later, Aaron and his daughter realized that the appearances of his wife became increasingly rare. Aaron knew in his heart that it wouldn't be long before his wife might completely disappear, and the daughter would also begin her own new life. On a warm sunny afternoon, the wife gently caressed her husband's chin for the last time. Tears filled her eyes as she bid him farewell. Finally, she leaned on his shoulder and closed her eyes. Several years later, the daughter found her own support. Aaron solemnly handed his daughter over to the groom, fulfilling his wife's final wish. However, when they were alone together, the daughter would unintentionally stroke Aaron's chin. But in the next moment, her eyes would become filled with panic. And at that moment, Aaron finally understood that his daughter had never truly returned from the beginning. It had always been his wife playing both roles, all for the purpose of escaping from this aging man. Aaron could hardly believe it. She could actually do all these things for his sake. The brief astonishment turned into calmness. Aaron didn't say much. He chose to respect and let go. When the groom stood before him, Aaron joked and said, Every father-in-law wants to punch his son-in-law, but he wanted to throw two punches. One punch was for taking away his daughter, and the other punch was a secret.